At first glimpse, Lima seems to stretch endlessly from the ocean into the hills, a sprawling metropolis that doesn't look anything like the tourist images of brightly dressed Andean villagers posed with their llamas in front of soaring mountain peaks. But a closer look proves that this huge city home to almost a third of Peru's population has its own attractions that are as fascinating and colorful as the inland scenes you've pictured. Number 1 Plaza de Armas Also called Plaza Mayor, this broad square is the historical center of Lima and the most logical starting point for sightseeing. Most of the buildings from the original city were lost in the earthquake of 1746 the only original structure standing in Lima's Plaza de Armas is the bronze fountain in the center, built in 1651. Number 2 Convento de San Francisco San Francisco Church and its monastery are most famous for their catacombs containing the bones of about 10,000 people interred here when this was Lima's first cemetery. Below the church is a maze of narrow hallways, each lined on both sides with bones. In one area, a large round hole is filled with bones and skulls arranged in a geometrical pattern, like a piece of art. If mass is in progress upstairs, the sound reverberates eerily through the catacombs. Number 3 Circuito Magico del Agua The Magic Water Tour was opened in the park of the reserve in 2007, and within a year counted 2 million visitors. It holds the record for the largest fountain complex in the world, with 13 separate fountains. The largest, the Fuente Magica, shoots a jet of water more than 80 meters high, while the Fuente Tunnel de los Sorpresas, Tunnel of Surprises, is a 35-meter tunnel of water to walk through. At the Fuente de la Fantasia, you can see a laser and picture show with jets synchronized to music. Number 4 Parque del Amor You won't find a more romantic spot to watch the sunset than the Parque del Amor, Park of Love, on the Malecon in Miraflores. Mosaic designs created from tiny tiles line the undulating walls, often compared to those designed by Antoni Gaudi for Park Güell in Barcelona, Spain. Lines from Peruvian poets Abelardo Sánchez León and Augusto Tamayo Vargas, among them, are worked into the mosaics. Number 5 Miraflores On cliffs above the ocean, just south of central Lima, Miraflores is a neighborhood of modern glass and steel commercial buildings mixed with some fine old colonial homes and lots of green space. Here is where you'll find smart shops and restaurants serving the new Peruvian cuisine that's drawing worldwide attention in culinary circles. Number 6 Museo de la Nación As the largest museum in Lima, the Museo de la Nación is the best place to begin exploring Peru's ancient history and gain an understanding of Peruvian culture. The museum covers the entire archaeological history of Peru, from the first inhabitants to the Inca Empire. Number 7 Larco Museum South of central Lima, in Pueblo Libra, is the Rafael Larco Herrera Museum, more commonly called the Larco Museum. The 18th-century Viceroy Mansion that houses it was built on the site of a pre-Columbian pyramid from the 7th century. The Larco Museum contains a huge collection of more than 40,000 pieces of Peruvian ceramics, a large portion of which is from the Moche and Chima cultures. These are not all on display at once. Number 8 Santo Domingo Built in 1540 on land given to the Dominican friar Vicente Valverde by Francisco Pizarro, the church and monastery of Santo Domingo is one of the oldest and most historic in Lima. Here, you will find the relics of St. Rose of Lima, San Juan Macias, and St. Martin de Porres, the first black saint in the Americas. Number 9 Huaca Paclana the pyramid-shaped temple of Huaca Paclana lies in the heart of Miraflores, and is now incongruously surrounded by buildings. Built of adobe and clay bricks a construction material that would never have survived for more than 1,000 years in any other climate the pyramid is formed in seven staggered platforms. Number 10 Las Nazarenas Several blocks east of the Plaza de Armas, Lima's Church of the Nazarenas has a unique history. This area was once a poor neighborhood of freed black slaves, and in the middle of what was little more than a shanty town, an ex-slave painted a mural of the crucifixion of Christ on a wall. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.